Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Stinker77, and we are back on the Techtopia world today. I'm on my swing. I'm having some fun. It doesn't really swing. That'd be cool if it could swing, but it doesn't swing. But hey, you know what? It's really cool. So we're back here out on the playground, um, and I got some bad news. Basically, these things right here, these end rods. Let me, let me go do this here. I'm going to show you this light level thing. Um, I didn't realize that we had some light problems right here. As you can see, that's a red seven, and that means that mobs could spawn there, and uh, they did. Yes, they did, and we had a little bit of trouble. Um, a zombie got into the base and killed a bunch of different guys before I was able to fix it. Um, I had decided I was going to go AFK over here so the children can get older so we can, you know, give them some professions and things. Completely didn't notice this, so <laughs> uh, I lost a couple guys. So we need to get more people. We really do. We need more people here, and uh, it's gonna take us a little bit. So, but I think I hear the sounds of hearts. So let's go around and see if we can find the hearts. That's really loud. It's probably like right down there. I bet you. Let's go see if we can find that heart real quick and see if there's any others. We can get some more of these uh, children. Be nice. Yes, there's a heart right inside there. Okay, we need to use that. Hello, Leighton Netheridge. There you go. We're going to keep on going downstairs. Everybody's going to sleep. You can hear them. Anything on this floor? No. Usually you could hear them right away. Yep, something. Is it over here? Sounds like it's maybe a floor below. Okay, let's go on down here. We're getting close to the bottom, though, so we won't have very much more. Okay, and... Now we have our... Our not... Arando Escalon. Where do these get these names? It's unreal. So, uh, yeah, that's that's about it, I think, for those hearts. So, the plan for today is, you recall, I put... In the last episode, I put a, a frame here, and I said, oh, this is going to be our school. Obviously, it, we did not make it a school. But I think today we need to have a tavern. We need to have a place for them to gather, even though they have social distancing. Stay home. But yes, uh, we need to have a bar here. So I think we're going to try to convert this over to a bar. I think we're going to need some wood. I want to have like a wood grain feel of a uh, tavern, kind of like an old world stuff, even though it's kind of a you know modern base. But uh, I think that the, the, that would have a nice atmosphere that they would want to have. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. I need to go get some resources. So let me uh, get started. <laughs> I went over to my other base and slept in one of the beds. And uh, apparently I have a spot where you can't get out. <laughs> it's right next to a bed. Let's see. I have this little hole here. And I guess I slept in one of these beds here and it put me here. That's funny. That is hysterically funny. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I'm going to use spruce or dark oak or oak for this particular project. So I'm over here by my old base. I'm outside of the range so I don't have a problem sleeping and bothering the village. I'm going to basically do some harvesting of trees. Kind of like a tree farm. We got a massive spruce here. Gonna take it down. We're gonna keep doing this for a while, get some resources. This will take me probably about an hour or so. That's all I want to spend on it. And we'll see what kind of resources we have. And we'll head back over to the base and start building. I think I've got enough wood for now. I'm going to head back to base so we can start building this uh, tavern. Every renovation begins with some demolition. Let's take out this entire room. And there we go. The room is gone. Now, there were some problems here. Uh, the doors that were on the floor above are based off of that block. 
So we have to replace that and get the doors back, but we can do that in a little bit. But the space here is done. We can make up our own little uh, room. And I'm thinking that maybe we can maybe make some space usage of this area too, like some seating for um, maybe some people looking out, right? These two wings and maybe put like a wall here that leads out for these people right here and some doors. But again, we have to make some sort of, of a doorway for we to make this thing considered to be a tavern or an inn. So, um, I don't, which is it? Is it tavern? Is it inn? Is it diner? I can't remember, but you know what I'm trying to build. What is it? So I started to spec out the walls here. You can see I've put down some spruce planks. It's very basic. And over here we have it. I'm dividing up the section here so people can't get through. Now this will make it so that the people can't go through the hallways. Um, so they'll have this seating area out here. It looks kind of nice. I think this will be really, really cool if we can get that to work. But uh, basically we have this big channel through here. Now I want to put in a wall right here or something. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, we might have to put a doorway or something in it. But basically it goes across there. And so this is the space that we have for the tavern, okay? We're gonna have to put a door here and a door there so we can put in that. So let me go ahead and look at getting some of the uh, specifications done here and to figure out what we need to do uh, so I can show you more of my idea for this tavern. Continuing on, I thought I would add a little more in post. Basically, we're gonna need a way for people to get across this area um, because otherwise they have to go through the stairways and down or above and go around. So we're going to put in a door here, okay? And we're going to put another door, same side, across the way. So that way they can at least walk across if they need to, okay? And there's some other things we want to add here. We want to add it like a bar area. So this is going to be like kind of where the bar is. And there's going to be another area probably in here for the bard, which is the musical player, to play. A little uh, area by a jukebox. Now over here, I'm thinking maybe we're going to have some uh, space here for an archway or something instead of actual doors so they can go out and go sit on like a patio-ish area. So that should be kind of cool. Um, so we're going to do it on both sides. So let me go build some more and show you more of my idea. So this is what I've come up with so far. You can see I've added some ceiling areas. We've got some blocks here that looks like we can uh, probably change this out a little bit. I think it looks a little bit better if we add more of a ceiling here. The ceiling looks pretty good so far, though. Let me put one here. Put a couple more blocks. There we go. Okay, this looks pretty good. Of course, we'll have to do the same thing on the other side, but I think that looks a lot better. You can see we've got a nice wide open archway. Now, we're going to keep it the same outside. So over here, I can see I've added like the bar area. And we've got some window space. This is pretty cool. The guys keep jumping through. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to be trying to work on this, making this a little bit better, I think. Putting in some glass and maybe getting some decorating done. But I like the way this looks so far. What do you guys think? Okay, I've done some decorating over here. You can see it's looking a lot better. A little more color added to it. I've got a little stage here and a jukebox. This will be the bard kind of plays. It's kind of a cool idea. I've added the glass. Out on the uh, little patios, I've got three sets of tables. They, it's kind of outside, but not outside, if you know what I mean. On each each of the ends here, we have that. So it looks kind of cool. I'm trying to figure out what I want to say here. <laughs> so we're going to have to figure out the floor here. I'm not sure I like the floor. The floor isn't great, but of course, it's the ceiling for the layer below. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, I may want to take this out and see what it looks like. So let's see if we can figure that out. I could put some floors down, but because of the fact that the chairs would have to sit on the floor, it had to be a full block. So if we had some full blocks here, you can kind of see that this gets kind of small. It gets very short in here and kind of tight. And I really don't like that idea. So we're going to have to do something, I think, with replacing the floor. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that or not. Let's go and see downstairs. We're going to look what it's downstairs and how it looks from that perspective. Okay, because see, we have down here, the floor is basically this material, and we'd have to basically lower this floor a little bit, lower the ceiling a little bit, and then um, we can then put the blocks up there. So that might be doable. Let me go and see um, if we can do that right now. This looks a lot better. The floor really helps bring the room together. I really like that. It was a little difficult, but we got that going. I even like the lighting going through the middle of that. It looks kind of cool in a way, and it keeps it kind of uh, similar to the design of the base, but it's not bad. Let's go look at it downstairs, though. I think we've got some problems here we're going to have to figure out. 
So when we go downstairs here, you can see I had to put some of the floor that's out outside of the main like square. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Now, possibly what I can do here is lower a level of the ceiling. See, so we can put another block here of stone slabs and put another set of sea lanterns down and that sort of thing. And so make it look like it's a little bit lower. We can also do the same thing in here. I think that'll work. So maybe we should just try and uh, see how it does. Okay, we're gonna use the wand here. We're gonna build in the ceiling just bit by bit. It makes it a lot easier. So yeah, this is kind of cool. Dude, will you please get out of my way? Please, thank you. Okay, we're gonna put that in here. Now the ceiling is done and then all I need to do is go and put in sea lanterns. But I like the way that kind of looks there. That's not bad. I think that's kind of a neat idea. Let me take out these other blocks here. You can kind of see where they are. That's the sea lanterns from the section above. Okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. We also have to work on the floor around the outside here. So we're gonna lower it again here. We're gonna put down three slabs. No, no, not like that. No, not like that. Oops. Uh, we'll put that there and that and that. There we go. Okay, so then we'll probably just use the wand here. We'll expand this out a little bit going around the side. And you can see it's going to be a little lower than that block over there. So we're going to need some more concrete probably. So let's go over here and take a look at this. So we've had to put in concrete here. Okay. So that way it doesn't like look incorrect with the slabs. Okay. Let me work on getting this all fixed all the way around and see how it looks. Okay. I finished that up and I really like the way these lights look recessed. I think that looks very nice and it looks like it's a nice clean ceiling better than what it was before so i think we may have to do that to every floor in the base and this is not something i really want to do right now but because of this i really think it looks really cool now if you can tell how it looks down here compared it it looks weird it just doesn't look it looks weird to me now seeing this seeing the way the sea lanterns hang down and that sort of thing so i think we're going to be doing this to the, all of the floors uh tell me what you think okay Okay, this is uh, pretty well a functional tavern right now. I still want to do some decorating, but let's go downstairs. You can see I've, there's the item frame for the token. We're going to go down and we're going to go and get the tavern icon. Yes, so here we go. We're going to go over here. Oh, it's Tradesman. Let's go talk to the architect and get the tavern. 54 emeralds. There we go. And grab my emeralds out. Yes, I did remember to get my emeralds out. Okay, we're going to go back up and we're going to go and put this on and get this tavern functioning because these guys, they really need to go to the tavern at the end of their hard work day. So up we go here. We're going to put this on. Hopefully it activates and it does. That's fantastic. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so this is looking pretty darn good, but I really want to add some more decorative things to it. Um, we can have some things like item frames and maybe doing some little things, but um, it should be good once we get done decorating. Let's go get some of the materials and maybe we'll do some decorating right now. Do you remember last episode? I was looking for the leather. Here we are, we have 13 leather. Yay, I have more leather for some item frames. Let's get back to the base and use those. Okay, we're back here. I put up some of the item frames already, but I really wanna work on the bar area. So we're gonna make like a little sink and some furnaces. Now this is not a proper kitchen. It's just something to make it look a little better. And I like to have some item frames up here so we can put things in the pictures. I don't know what we're going to put yet. And then I think we can make a shelf if we use some trap doors. So we'll put some trap doors down. And it's kind of like a shelf. I think that looks kind of kind of good for what uh, I'm trying to do. So we have a lot of these item frames around and we can uh, put some stuff in there. Now outside here, you can see I had to kind of fudge the top of the wall because of the, um, the way it has to go to the floor up there so we are going to have to do something about that i think these item frames they need to fill with stuff i'm not sure what to put in them um i do have some you know, fish we can put fish in them like you know you see like because they're gonna eat food here that kind of thing i think we can do stuff like that i just don't know what to do with it and i can put that in later uh, it gets the right idea of what this has for this particular tavern so i think now we're going to work on what i talked about earlier was putting in the ceiling all around so that it looks nice. Because if you look down here, you can see this ceiling looks fantastic. There's a little bit of extra white concrete that we got to put down. And then we got to put down all of the stone slabs. And then we really need just to knock out the spots where the sea lanterns are. So we don't need to add any sea lanterns. 
So we've got all the stuff here. I'm going to go downstairs and uh, gather up some stuff from this chest. It's on the other side here. Let's walk over here. I've got a chest where I've been storing things. Oh, look. Hey. Hey, everybody here, they're working. And they're even outside. I guess that's true because it would be outside because of there's a, a roof over their heads. That's fantastic. The tavern works and they're all getting the benefit of going to the tavern. That is fantastic. I'm happy. Okay, so let's uh, go and take a lot of the resources, clean up what I've got in my inventory in that chest outside, and then start building. Building this is easy. We just go first over with all the blocks with the slabs, and you can kind of see from the lighting here, this block has the sea lantern above it. You can see it's brighter than all the others. So we'll just knock out that slab, and there we have it done. That's pretty easy. Now I'm going to do the rest of the base. Well, guys, if I didn't mention it before... <laughs> I had my mic muted all morning. Um, I really got to be able to see that and check that better. So half this video I recorded without any uh, of my commentary. So I will end post. I'll just edit over it and hopefully you didn't notice it. By the time uh, you get to this point, hopefully you're like, wow, I didn't know he did that. And you'll go back and look. <laughs> anyway, I made some mistakes. So because of that, I'm going to have to have a little bit more time to edit, um, which means I need to stop now instead of doing the entire base of floor builds that I was doing. So I'm going to do that at this point. So, hey, if you do like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.